uh, etiquette, cultural do's and don'ts. Well, when you go to France and Switzerland, even don't act like an American, I suppose. <laughs> don't act like a tourist. Um, be very respectful. Very, very respectful. They're a wonderful people. I love the French people. They're very to the point. They'll call stupid out when they see it. You know, that's the kind of people they are. And I like that. They're more, more philosophical. Um, here in America, we have a lot of math and science and a lot of engineers and such. In France, it's a lot more, there's a lot more emphasis on philosophy and rhetoric and literature and such. So the people know how to talk and they know how to, um, how to talk to you as well. When we would go out contacting in France, we would try and make the person as comfortable as possible with us before we actually started talking about anything that had to do with religion or anything deep. Um, once, once you get a French person really comfortable with you and, and on talking terms with you, you can talk to them about pretty much anything. And they won't sugarcoat anything either. They'll tell you exactly what they think about it. You know, if it's religion, they might tell you, yeah, I don't like it. You know, I think that people made it up and that it has caused more grief than good. They'll tell you that. And then it's your job to kind of, to bring in the gospel, you know, from our perspective, to bring in the Book of Mormon, maybe. Uh, but it's, I love the French people. I, I love them so much. Church was always incredibly interesting because um, everybody was themselves at church. Nobody wore masks. They were themselves um, just as much at church as just during their normal lives. They came and and they brought their personalities with them. And that was always really fun. And I admire how the French people work with each other like that. You know, they, they work with different personalities almost flawlessly. You know? And if people get offended, they talk about it, they get over it. Either that or there's a huge feud. You know, so I, I, you get the extremes as well. It's either one or the other, but it's that's what makes it interesting. Their culture is very, very rich. They've had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years of existence. And with that comes a ton of history and a ton of culture. And you can see it just by walking through the cities. I mean, a lot of the buildings that you'll come across in France are older than America. You know, most of the cathedrals in France are hundreds of years older than America is. The French people really like it when you try to learn as much as you can about their history and their culture. I think that's just as much a part of missionary work as testifying of the gospel and teaching about the gospel. Because you don't want to go to France and be seen as just some American trying to spread his or her cult, you know. Because that's what they think of missionaries a lot of times. You want to be thought of as somebody who's going to France to learn about the culture and the people. Um, and then who has a message to share, to share at the same time. One of my favorite things to do was just walk around, you know, go to the open air markets, talk to people, um, ask questions about the culture, visit the museums, walk around the cathedrals. Do that as much as you can if you're going to France on your mission or really anywhere in Europe, because the more you know the culture and the more you know about the history of the region you're in and the history of the country, the more you'll understand where the people are coming from and why they have, why they think the way they do, you know, why they have these traditions, this way of thinking. Um, you can't separate the work from the people. The two go together. And you have to really emphasize both and work on both and learn more about both.